Hi, my name is Vera Minot. I'm the creative director and part owner of Southwest Solutions here in Tucson, Arizona, as well as the vice president of chamber culture for Tucson's LGBT Chamber of Commerce. I'm a proud queer cisgender cat mom and soon to be wife to an extraordinary woman. I am finally beginning to understand what it means to be in a healthy and wholehearted relationship. And I don't actually mean with my partner, although that too, <laughs> I mean with myself. It's been a long and painful journey getting here. I was raped when I was 16. It took me two years to acknowledge out loud for the first time the act of sexual violence that that was. And shortly after that, it happened again. Like most late teens, early 20 year olds, I was uh, fairly ill-equipped, um, emotionally speaking, to handle life in general, <laughs> let alone navigate the waters of post-trauma. So I didn't really navigate them at all. I, uh, I floated recklessly for years, barely caring for myself, let alone caring for others. I made decisions I'm not proud of, um, and I hurt a lot of people, including myself. I struggled with self-injury and depression, and my sexuality just kind of got swept up in the mire of emotions that it was easier to ignore than to properly deal with. It took me nearly a decade to seek therapy, which I'm still actively in. Shout out to my amazing therapist, Tammy Zuniga. I spent 13 years looking back on 16-year-old Vera and then 18-year-old Vera, wishing I had done something differently, anything differently. And I didn't realize the weight of that kind of thinking look, you know, not accepting who I was and what I had done until I was actually able to let go of that thinking. And now the only thing I wish is that I had started my healing journey sooner. I wish somebody could have reached through my darkness to show me that there is a lighter, you know, less heavy way to live. As long as I could just find the courage to face my history and all my emotions. Easier said than done. <laughs> but contrary to the stigma, um, seeking help is not a measure of weakness. It takes, facing your past um, takes strength and bravery that unfortunately a lot of people will never find for themselves. I'm not a mental health professional. Um, I would never purport myself to be, but I am comfortable around darkness so if you need somebody who isn't judgmental to help you find a mental health professional, I would be happy to be that person. Please reach out to me. I know how hard it is to take those initial steps. I, uh, I can't change my past, obviously. Um, and at this point, I don't think that I would. It made me who I am today. But I can tell my story in the hopes that it reaches through somebody else's darkness with the gentle or maybe not so gentle nudge that, you know, or reminder that there is a healthier, less heavy, more wholehearted way to live. Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. I hope you find what you're looking for.